watching BBN Tonight, presented by UK Federal Credit Union. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. The honors continue to roll in for Oscar Shibway. That's right. Now we just need to know if he'll be back next season. Oscar, please, we will <laughs> accept you. Come on. He's been named a Wooden Award All-American and a finalist for the Wooden Awards National Player of the Year. The other finalists are Ochai Agbaji from Kansas, Johnny Davis from Wisconsin, Keegan Murray from Iowa, and Drew Timmy from Gonzaga. The winner will be announced on April 5th on ESPN. Ryan Howard earned All-American status from the same organization. She's one of just five players to make the women's team, and it's Howard's third straight year on the list. She'll be honored and presented with the award on April 8th in Los Angeles. The Batcats are back in action starting tomorrow for a three-game series against Ole Miss, and Kentucky is sitting at 1,999 wins, just one shy of 2,000, Keith. <laughs> I caught up with head coach Nick Mengione about that milestone and the entire slate of upcoming games. That happened earlier this week. One win away from 2,000 for the program. That, that's a pretty special mark. It is, and you know, I, I, there's a lot of people that have put this uniform on and have done a lot of great things for Kentucky. And when you think about all the former players and the coaches and the staff members that have just put their, their blood, their sweat, their tears into this program, when you think about 2000, I mean, you get, I started thinking about that. I'm like, we've been playing baseball for a long time. If you <laughs> to get 2000 wins, I mean, if I just sat here and tried to count to 2000, I don't know how long it would take me, but um, yeah, it's a really unique deal. And um, you know, one that is very deserving and just of all the people that have, you know, put all their time and effort. And, you know, I even just think of Mitch Barnhart, you know, what he's done. I mean, how, how are you able to do that? Well, you better have an athletic director that cares. And, you know, he's been here 20 years and um, all the things he's done, not only for our sport, but for other sports is uh, pretty amazing. And you're within like four or five wins of moving up to fourth uh, on the all-time list. Has to feel pretty good there, too. Just, just keep getting them. That's all I care about. Like, let's just, let's just keep getting wins. Let's just keep developing young men and getting wins. I mean, it, it doesn't get much better than that. We ask you at the beginning of a season all the time, you know, what do you like about this team? And, and now that you're really getting into the SEC schedule, what do you like about this team? It's still their competitive nature. And, um, you know, we went to Arkansas maybe didn't, have the best outing and I didn't like the way we acted and carried ourselves and um, after a long team meeting this past Monday and you know just getting us back on track I just love our competitive spirit and this is a group that loves being around each other you know our dugout some of our antics and the things they're doing in there I mean they're just they're having a blast and it's kind of neat to be in a dugout where you got 18 to you know 24 year olds now you know having a good time and just competing extremely hard and enjoy being around each other so I just love their competitive spirit and how much they love being around each other. Uh, it's been a, a good group to be around. And as you get into the weekend, you've got an, another big win in Mississippi, a team that's kind of likewise like you two and four uh, in the league and going to be a big one because, again, it's at home. Yeah, and you know, Keith, this is just the power of our league. They were the number one team in the country last week. They're ranked number one in the whole country. And, um, you know, they ended up losing all three games to Tennessee, who now is the number one team in the country. So, you know, we have the, from the week before, we got the number one team in the country coming to Kentucky Proud Park. So, and then you, when you sit there and you think about that, you're like, hold on, wait, they're two and four. But they were just the number one team in the country. That shows you how good our league is in baseball. I mean, it is the premier league in all of college baseball. And um, so they're an extremely talented team who, have, who has a very, very good offense. Like they are built around their offense. Um, they play good defense. So um, we'll definitely, get their best. There's no question about that. And again, this has been a nice long stretch at Kentucky Proud Park. It's not over yet. So you get to make your pitch to get the fans out. I mean, if they want to see a team that plays hard and competes and dances and gets after it in the field and is able to make a diving play and a web gem at any moment, come out and watch these guys because we got guys on the pitching uh, staff that just love to compete and go after guys. So if you're a fan of baseball and um, we need to get some sun out there. I know that. I mean, <laughs> we need to get some sun and good weather. But this is a team that um, has done everything we've asked, um, even back in the fall. I mean, Keith, our team's GPA was a 3.6 as a team. We had 15 guys with a 4.0. I mean, they've done everything that's been asked of them, whether it be in the classroom, in the community, the way they treat the kids and what they're doing there, and then, you know, on the field. Um, you know, so I just – I would love for – us to create a home field advantage, you know, and uh, I believe we can do that here and these guys deserve it. So we'd love to see everybody come out and be a part of it. And um, 
We need you. Big thank you to Coach Mingion for the time. And you heard the man. Come be a part of it. Here's the list of game times for this weekend starting tomorrow night at 6.30. Go to UKAthletics.com to get your tickets. And if you love the cats, uh, well, you can register to win this super fan prize package. It includes a 50-inch Samsung TV, a basketball signed by Coach Cal, UK Basketball Yearbook uh, Magazine, two BBN Tonight polo shirts, LEX 18 coffee mugs and water bottles, there's only one lucky winner, so if you want to be that person, just scan the QR code on your screen, or you can go to lex18.com slash BBN Superfan. We want to thank Metronet for being our partner on this. More BBN tonight in a moment.